all objects, when they when you uh, do this experiment, either they're they're massive objects or very uh, le less massive objects, they all accelerate at the same rate, g toward the ground. So if I hold this marker up and I measure, uh, you know, how long it takes to hit the ground, and I take, you know, something very heavy like a bowling ball, and I drop it at the same time, both of these objects will begin to fall at the same rate, the same acceleration g, and they will both hit the ground at the same time. If they ever don't do that, like leaves fluttering in the wind, that's just because of air resistance. But in the absence of air resistance, everything will accelerate at the same rate and hit the ground at the same time, which means they both accelerate at exactly the same rate, g. Now that's weird because we expect a bowling ball to fall faster. Why do we expect that? Well, because a bowling ball's heavy. You feel the force of that bowling ball. But this marker, you don't feel very much force. Now the reason uh, that we feel more force for a bowling ball is because the force of gravity depends on both masses. And so if the mass of the marker is small and the mass of the bowling ball is much, much bigger, then the force of gravity should be bigger for the bowling ball because its mass would be bigger. And it's true, a bowling ball weighs more. So why doesn't the bowling ball hit the ground at the same time? Yes, it is true that bowling balls have a stronger force of attraction to the Earth due to gravity. That is true. And so you would think they would accelerate faster. However, even though they're being pulled harder than the marker, they're also much more difficult to get moving because of their increased mass. Because the mass is existing on the right-hand side and on the left-hand side, for any object with a very big mass, you're going to get a bigger force, but any object with a big mass is going to also have a big mass over here. And that means it's going to take much more, more, more force to accelerate it at the same rate. So even though the bowling ball is heavier and actually is pulled harder to the ground, as soon as you let it go, it has more inertia because it has more mass. And so it's harder to accelerate. It's harder to get moving. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.